Hey, I'm Louis Palmer and welcome to playbetterdrums.com and welcome to part two of the Paradiddle Fill Ideas. So the next thing I thought about uh, when I was thinking how I use paradiddles in fills was this inverted paradiddle sticking. So it's the same sticking, it's a paradiddle, but we're just starting the paradiddle in a different place and the sticking goes like this. So it lends itself immediately to accenting the, uh, the second and fourth grouping, which is going to be a left hand each time, which happens to be, you know, beats two and four. So we have like a backbeat feeling. So that then obviously immediately lends itself to orchestrating between hi-hat bass drum and snare drum. So we can place a bass drum at the beginning of each uh, of one and three. And then of course you can mess with uh, playing uh, different bass drums on different notes. And then uh, we can then accent the first and last note of each group of four, which would be like this. which has a nice flow to it, and we can definitely immediately use that in a fill situation just on the snare drum. And then we can spread those accents to different toms. And that's playing it as 16th notes. We could also, uh, which when, when you get faster, obviously the groove uh, is gonna be a little quicker like that one. So you could also play the fill as 32nd notes.
So that's one nice fill idea with that sticking. Uh, and then we can do like um, a two beat fill, which is on the PDF, which just goes like this. So it's the same accent pattern as we were just doing. But we're just orchestrating uh, this way. And then we have the option whether to accent that last left hand. Or we could play. But using that paradiddle stick in the inverted paradiddle, were um, given one of those nice flowing tom fills where we have the accents on the toms and the ghost notes filling in. Uh, we're just given that by default with the way the sticking is. So you can do exactly what I just did then, which is continuously play the sticking but try and come up with different uh, accent patterns and orchestrations. And then there's another variation on this sticking that I find myself playing uh, by accident almost, uh, where we change the second to last note of the second grouping. So instead of, instead of having that double right, we now we replace the second to last right with the left. So this is moving away from a traditional paradiddle sticking, obviously, but it just has a nice flow to it. Uh, another double left, so it's more ghost note. Uh, that's the role the double left will play, and it just the accents have a nice flow to them. So a little quicker. Then we can accent the left hand. So rather than just the right, if we throw that accent in, it completely changes it. So 
So then we're giving, given one of those nice tom fills with a backbeat built in. And it's important not to rush that double left at the end, which I'm guilty of doing sometimes because you're towards the end of the fill and the, and the downbeat is coming. Sometimes those two little lefts at the end will be rushed. It's really important not to do that. So there I was moving the left hand accent away from the snare drum and putting it on another tom. So there are lots of different orchestration ideas. The same thing applies. Play the sticking over and over and over around the drums. Try and come up with different ideas, different orchestrations. And then we can do the same as what we did earlier with the first sticking when we orchestrated it between hi-hat, snare drum, and bass drum. We can do that with this one too. and change, uh, change bass drums, add bass drums. This one is a little, a little less uh, useful in a groove situation because it's got those accents that's a little bit um, angular, if you like, because those accents stick out so much. But it does work as a fill, but orchestrated this way. or on the ride cymbal as just a fast uh, backbeat thing. So there's a ton of different ideas there from just two stickings based off a of paradiddle. Um, so I hope they help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next lesson.